of all the fantastic culinary delights this beautiful country has to offer, sardines, barbecued sardines at that, has to be one of the highest ranking. And today, I have got the pleasure of being invited into a traditional Portuguese home to see how this fantastic dish is prepared, served and eaten in true Portuguese style. The smell of burning charcoal, barbecued sardines, Portuguese style. My mouth is watering already. This is Chef's Travels, I'm Kevin Harrington and wow, really looking forward to this one. So today I am being taught by the lovely Arletta here. Okay. Hello Arletta. Hello. She's going to show me how to cook Hello. traditional Portuguese sardines. She's got a little fire going here. Charcoal's getting all ready for it. They haven't been cleaned. They haven't had the guts taken out or anything. They're actually completely whole. A little bit of sole. Here she's put some aubergine some peppers and some and a bell pepper on there on top of the barbecue um, basically gonna cook them till the skins go black and that's gonna be part of what's gonna be served with the sardines So what's better than this? Sardines cooked traditional Portuguese style. Uh, I'm getting smoked out here. But the smell coming off these sardines is absolutely fantastic. And there you have it, look. Fresh from the ocean this morning. Fantastic. Brilliant. Beautiful. Fantastic. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, she dropped that one. Let's see if we can get that one caught. Look at your 30 second rule. Uh, yeah. Pick it up within 30 seconds, it means that you don't get any germs on it, apparently. Yeah. Because they see it coming down, see? And as they see it coming down, they all run away so they don't get crushed. And you pick it up before they get a chance to jump back on it again. That's why it's called a 30 second rule. <laughs> I believe that, you believe anything. But there you go, 30 second rule. If you drop something on the floor, pick it up quick. So there you go, they've come off. Absolutely gorgeous. They're ready to go. What we're going to do is serve them on a bit of Portuguese style bread instead of a plate and all the juices go through the bread and then if you want to afterwards you can eat the bread and it's got all the flavours of the sardines in it as well. What more can you ask for? Fantastic. Portuguese sardine style. Sardines Portuguese style. Uh, <laughs> and thank you Ar Arlette for showing us how to do it. Brilliant. So, I've got these little babies here, and do you know what? I ain't gonna wait for anyone. I wanna try one of these, because uh, I've been told so much about it. Basically, what you do is take them, peel the skin off a little bit. Just take the skin off, and look at that. What you've got is fantastic meat. They are very bony. But, oh, oh my god, that is 
I'm gonna have to stop recording now because I'm gonna get tucked in. Beautiful, fantastic. Sardines, Portuguese style, brilliant. There's so many ways to cook sardines. Uh, the Spanish will pan fry them with some fresh garlic, lime juice, shallots, put some tomato sauce in with them. French do pretty much the same, uh, deglaze it or flambe it with a white wine. Um, yeah, and the fair play to the Portuguese for keeping it very simple and just barbecuing it. Nothing added, nothing taken away. Um, if you ask me my opinion on sardines, truthfully, I'd say put them back on the hook, use them as bait to catch something bigger that hasn't got all those tiny little spindly bones that get stuck in your throat. <laughs> They are an absolute menace. Anyway, this is Chef's Travels. I'm Kevin Harrington. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope I'll see you on the next one.